This is a normal wind test standing next to a busy road. Dream wind test. The windows are closed now. Hey guys, welcome to Strike Engine TV. If you haven't subscribed already, please do us a favor. Click that button in the bottom right hand corner. Subscribe to the channel if you like these type of videos. Quick intro to this test. It's comparing uh, lav mics, lavalier mics, label mics, whatever you want to call them. It's comparing two uh, two different lav mics that you can get on eBay and both of them cost less than a dollar. I'll put links to the products in the uh, video description. I can't guarantee the ones in the description will be exactly the same as the ones I'm using, but the photos, they look exactly the same as the ones that I'm using. So there's basically five tests that I've done in this video. The first is directional sensitivity in a noisy environment. So how precise you have to aim the mics to get a good result in a noisy environment. Are they sensitive? Do you have to put a lot of work into the mountain, etc.? The second test is an extreme wind test. So this is driving along at 100 kilometers an hour with the windows fully down in a car. How well do they isolate the uh, ambient wind noise from the recording? Uh, is it usable? And what is the difference between the two mics? The third one, the third test is also an in-car test, but this is with the windows up just driving along. How do they cope in a car, you know, driving over bumpy roads? not completely quiet environment there is some ambient noise but you know what is the difference between the two the fourth is a, an outdoor wind test this is me standing on a beach with wind speed i know at a very rough guess to say 20 kilometers an hour so how do they cope in a you know if you're standing somewhere where it's windy are you are you going to be able to uh, record yourself easily how sensitive sensitive are they to the direction that you're standing in you know parallel to the wind facing the wind etc and the fifth test is a directional sensitivity, but this time in a quiet environment. So when there's no ambient noise around, you know, what difference does it make uh, with the different mounting of the mics? Does it, is there a big difference between the mics directly in front of your mouth, you know, underneath your mouth, if they would be mounted to your collar, etc. And then after that, we'll just go through a conclusions of how, how I, my opinion of how each mic performed, how each mic performed in the five different tests. So just... To clarify, the mics in this test, again, they're all label mics, lav mics, lavalier mics, however you want to call them. They all use a 3.5 millimeter jack and both of them cost less than a dollar on eBay. Okay, so this is a test of the directional sensitivity of the mics. We're standing next to a, uh, a piece of... We're standing next to a busy row. This is the mic, plastic mic. This is 90 degrees to my mouth. This is facing directly towards the mouth and this is facing uh, away from the mouth. So this is with a mic under my chin at 90 degrees. This is the mic at 45 degrees under my chin. Uh, this is the mic facing away from my mouth. That's the metal mic. Okay guys, so this is an extreme wind test. We're just coming out onto the motorway here and we're gonna go along at around 100 kilometers an hour so they're both here on the collar they're both facing directly up under my chin so we're just going to crank the window down and see how they go so that's the window fully down plastic mic 90 degrees underneath my chin it's just here so this is how it feels with the wind. i've got no idea how it's coping because this is pretty extreme where i've got it at the moment and uh, as you can imagine, relatively noisy with the window being fully down at 100 kilometers an hour. So that is the plastic mic and we're just gonna swap over to the uh, metal mic. So this is the metal mic guys. The position is more or less identical to the uh, plastic mic. It's pointing straight directly up under my chin. Doing 100 kilometers an hour under my chin. We're doing 100 kilometers an hour here, windows fully down. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to make a comparison between the two. Hopefully this will be clear enough for there to be a uh, comparison, or alternatively, maybe just the mic is just completely blown out, but we will see. Okay guys, this is a test of the mics inside a car. Windows are closed now, but usual car, roads are fairly bumpy, so we just wanna see how it copes with the ambient noise if you, want to use these mics for recording in the car this is the metal mic recording in the car just to give you an idea of what it could how it copes with 
the wind noise, the bumps in the road. It's not a particularly noisy car to be fair, but the roads are quite bumpy. So this is the plastic mic in a, exactly the same distance from my mouth, mounted to in the same place, 90 degrees underneath my chin. So like I said, we'll just see how the, the mic copes with the interior of the car. Windows are closed, not going at any particular speed, not a lot of wind noise in this car anyway. But we'll go over some bumps just coming through these traffic lights here. Like the whole road is relatively bumpy. This, this is a normal wind test, i.e. not being in the car. This is a normal wind test, i.e. not being in the car. So we're just going to have the mic, usual place, where you're going to mount a label mic, underneath your chin, pointing directly here. So this is uh, 90 degrees away from the wind. The wind is coming from this direction, from the sea. So this is just, you know, me randomly talking, waffling, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. We'll just turn with our back to the wind so you can see what difference that makes for the plastic mic. So the wind is coming from behind us, it's travelling that way. So hopefully it can come through. And then this is facing directly into the wind. You know, I don't know if it's more extreme, but the wind is coming at my face here. So this is the plastic mic. This so this is the metal mic. Again, the wind is coming from this direction. It's uh, underneath my chin, pointing up. Look, there's going to be some difference between the two mics with regards to the, the exact direction, and this is going to come down to the clips. So if you want to get a better clip for the mics, then you know this is something to bear in mind. But this is just a test of the stock mics. With stock mics. So we just turn around. The wind is coming from behind me now. This is how the mic deals with that. The wind speed, I don't know. I got no idea. 20 kilometers an hour, maybe something like that. 15 miles an hour, something like that. So wind is coming from behind me and then this is the wind coming directly into the mic from the front. The wind is coming in this direction and again you can see where the mic is, it's just there, it's pointing directly up under my chin. This is the uh, quiet environment test again, we're testing the directional sensitivity of the mics. This is the metal mic, this is directly under the chin, this is the metal mic directly under the chin. This is the metal mic at 45 degree angle pointing towards the mouth. This is the metal mic 45 degrees pointing towards the mouth. And then this is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. This is the metal mic directly in front of the mouth. And this is the plastic mic uh, 90 degrees underneath the mouth, underneath the chin. This is the uh, plastic mic directly under the mouth at 90 degrees. This is the plastic mic at 45 degrees in front of the mouth. This is the plastic mic 45 degrees in front of the mouth. And this is the plastic mic directly in front of the mouth. This is the plastic mic directly in front of the mouth. So these are the mics are on eBay. I can only say that they look exactly the same as the mics in this test. I can't guarantee they will be exactly the same. So this is the metal mic. I'll put a link to this listing in the video description. So basically what you see is what you get. This comes with a um, triple uh, connector. So it's ready to uh, use directly into a mobile phone. Uh, it is, um, from what I can tell, it's a metal construction. The clip is also metal and the clip is also, um, seems to be very good. The foam, the type of foam between the two mics seems to be exactly the same. And this is the plastic mic. From what I can tell, there's two basic plastic mics that they have on the listings. But this is the one in this test. And you can tell the difference because it has three, um, three lines on top of the mic. And it does not have any vents around the outside on the barrel of the mic. Uh, the foam, like I said, it looks exactly the same material as the uh, metal mic. And the, but the foam is much bigger on this mic. This is the exact same clip from what I can see. I don't really rate the clip. Um, this swivels, this turns around. It's not the most solid mounting for the mic. So the conclusions to this test, I would say that the metal mic is generally clearer than the, the plastic mic. I would say there is a bigger range uh, to the, um, a bigger, bigger frequency range to the metal mic. It seems to pick up um, you know, the higher frequencies uh, better, um, the, the lower frequencies, uh, maybe it's, I would say it's around the same, but generally it's a clearer, in my opinion, a clearer sound with a metal mic. The metal mic is, in my opinion, again, definitely less sensitive to direction, i.e. where it's mounted, you know, underneath the chin, in front of the mouth. 
they you know it's it's a better mic it doesn't seem to be much difference if the mic is not pointing directly into the mouth at the mouth and with regards to isolating the background noise i would say both mics are equally good points to note specifically about the jacks on the mics when you're looking at a mic to buy there's going to be the 3.5 millimeter have a look on the listings and check if the uh, jack on the mic is a mono jack a stereo jack or a hands-free jack maybe you can find them with the jack you need maybe you can't so depending on what device you want to use the mic with maybe you're going to need to use some adapters so like a, for example a stereo to mono adapter a stereo adapter to a hands-free adapter for example uh, if the mic has got a stereo plug in it but you want to use it with your mobile phone you're going to need it to convert it to a three channel uh, three channel uh, plug but all these adapters are available again on eBay for you know pennies the usual so that's the point to note in conclusion I think the metal mic is um, is better than the than the plastic mic so that's the video guys uh, if you're looking at these mics on eBay and you're wondering if they're any good if they're worth spending you know a dollar on if they're worth waiting for you know if you're gonna order them from China it's gonna take six weeks or four weeks to get to you is it worth a hassle hopefully this video has given you a good idea of what you can expect I know it's only a small buying decision they're only a dollar each but you know if I can help I'll do it you know I've, I've been through it you know I've tried loads of different mics off eBay so if I had this video at the start I would have um, you know I would have gone straight to the uh, probably the metal mic without experimenting and plus all the hassle I went through with the uh, with the jacks you know I didn't think to get the adapters and what have you as always thank you for watching uh, if you like this type of video please subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel the strike engine TV YouTube channel uh, as always, please vote in the video, look after yourself, and I'll see you again next time.